generic greetings and welcome to In Tycoon, today's beverages. A quite fiery ginger beer, not something I usually have, but this is quite a nice one indeed. So welcome to the demo of In Tycoon. This is a game where you're running in. I don't really know what else to say about it, really. Let's go to new game and I'll show you a little bit of it. So you can name your inn, so Generian, and we have disaster, there's uh, unlocks for gold and tutorials and stuff. We'll just keep all of that on. I have played, uh, I believe... Uh, six or seven in-game days uh, on a previous um, playthrough just to get my eye in on this one so we have tutorials which is it tells us to build a tavern room so it's gonna cost 50 generic units currency to do that and it also wants us to place a table and I like that when you move the table around you don't have to place the chairs they are automatically placed but if you say put them on the far wall there we'll only get two chairs if we move it a little bit further along we get three and then finally if there's a gap all the way around we get four I'm going to place one of those, and we'll also hire a waitress, and we need to reach level 2 in order to build a kitchen. I'm going to preemptively just buy some more uh, of the tavern here, and actually I'm going to move this over to the corner, and then a bit more. So, there we are. But I'm going to max speed this out, because quite frankly, it sometimes can be a case of sitting around while not much is going on. In terms of what you can build, well in this demo, you have access to tavern, tables, and some bars. There's other stuff not included, like a fireplace and stages, etc., which increases like tips amount and um, just money that you get, yes. You also have a kitchen, you've got a bedroom, you've got a bath and a cellar, the latter two of which yeah, are not, sadly not in this demo. At the top, we have the level of the inn, the happiness of our uh, patrons here, as well as town controls. Uh, we have a day-night cycle as well as seasons, and the seasons affect the... Well, a lot of things. Basically, in this case, it's a uh, customer eat effect, but, uh, it's plus 10%. Uh, eat speed and staff movement speed is plus 15%. All of those changes can be shown on the left hand side on the in attributes here. Not that you have much effect over it, but you might be able to tailor what you do as the seasons change. We also have money, which is uh, uh, gold, 60, uh, 60 generic units of currency at the moment, day one here, and we also have reputation, which is gain or lose reputation based on customer happiness. I've not yet managed to lose reputation, or at least I haven't seen a, a noted um, reduction in it either way we can use that to we can basically spend that as well as we are playing on um, you do get tips getting left so you can click on these and that's another 1.2 uh, generic units of currency and that's a little mini game that you play as you're sort of uh, waiting for you know other things to happen we can click on any of the patrons here and it shows you what they're doing so this person is drinking uh, they're drinking uh, and there's waiting so we've got this slider that comes down from really happy mm, not so much and then very unhappy and then they will leave anyway this is level two for generian <laughs> generian and we got uh, 300 gold one extra staff and one level point which we can use to uh, unlock things but at this stage I want to I think just get ourselves a bit of a kitchen and we need to place a counter and this is where basically we'll have like stuff getting served up so I'm going to place it in there and oh here we go so this is uh, the two days until the end of the season changes we can say fast days increase food price increase increase on drinking price very small that to read isn't it uh, bartender salary is reduced however waitress and cook salary has increased we can move our reputation we can we can spend money to just to gain reputation if we wanted to do that um or we can wait i'm, I'm just going to skip i don't want to spend any more there but what i do want to do is place the uh, nice big big um what's it called cauldron that's it and we want to hire a cook and there we go that's the tutorial over with it's uh, fairly simple and sedate and yeah what's going to happen now is we're going to have more people coming in and i think we're going to go for a lot more tables and let's also hire a waitress 44 to get those i think the amount of people that turn up are based on what it seems just capacity the people just seem to turn up and sort of fill the tavern to capacity that might fluctuate based on obviously happiness and your reputation as well but yes let's see how we get on so food is getting prepared which is good we're also um selling lots of beverages here however i'm very aware that basically some people are starting to wait longer 
Hmm, so I do need, I think, another waitress, which I will now hire. Staff costs, because of that, have now gone up to 80 generic units of currency per day, but hopefully with the increase in uh, our... Yeah, the increase in our... Um, capacity should offset that. You can see people are leaving now that are not too happy. They're, they're not unhappy. They're not, you know, they're, they're a bit displeased. They will probably give it a three out of five stars. <laughs> We also have um, the bar here, and well, it's not just the bar, but the cauldron as well. You can spend money on upgrading it. So it starts at level 1, and if we were to spend 160 on upgrading it to level 2, that would increase the soup price from 7 to 10, and also reduce the cooking duration. Uh, we can do something similar to the bar, but it's 500 generic units of currency, which, well, we don't have. In terms of kitchen, there is a bread oven and a turkey roaster that's up and coming. We'll have to see what that does well i can I, I can pretty much guess um the bread oven bakes bread actually i guess the the cook will bake the bread in the oven semantics and a turkey roaster turkeys are cooked here requires a cook to operate we probably won't get one of those until later on we have an unspent point which we can spend on some upgrades but only once we have sort of leveled up a bit let me just click on all of these tips there and oh we've indeed leveled up so extra money and extra staff limit and level points so if we go down there you go we can spend money on a bread oven which i will do so immediately rotate that around and then the cooks can cook in there so we've got fast uh, feast i said think i think i said fast days last time feast days uh wealthy patrons oh increased tip amount and uh tip chance let me spend that and we will start the next day so, good. I haven't really mentioned the look. It's, uh... I mean, does it have shadows? <laughs> not really seeing any shadows. Um, I do like the character models. It is quite a pleasant place. Gentle music in the background there. And when it gets dark, it looks a bit more lively with all of the torches lighting up. So, do we need any more tables i could indeed place another table and i think i will do that we will unlock a bedroom at level four and we'll see what that is like i'm tempted to we can get another bar if we were to get another 250 but that means also hiring another bartender and the bartender themselves is 104 whereas at the moment I think we're doing okay with the one bar that we have the only issue is that we're potentially not we're not um, getting the beverages poured as fast as I'd like but if we were to spend some money 500 it's a bit of a shame but that will increase the price of the wine and beer and also reduce the pouring duration also, once we have people leave the bar, I'm going to move it. I'm going to move it more centralised. It shouldn't really affect a huge amount of... Uh, yeah, it's not going to affect a massive... Uh, there we go. don't think it's going to affect, affect it massively, but, you know, we might as well do that. And then it means I can place in here another kitchen if necessary. I don't think so. Oh, good grief, that's a bit burnt, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we may make uh, another another kitchen. Just going to go around and collect some tips. There's no apparently options for decoration and such, but obviously we have to remind ourselves this is a demo after all. Bread and soup, getting prepared. On the left tip, 2.13 generic units of currency and 1.6. that waitress just come up and pick up nothing from the table and a plate appear from that in their hands i think so fast service increased movement speed and action speed and tip chance oh let's go with all salary reduction that's just straight up extra money and next day we're on three quarters of the way no yeah three quarters of the way to level four Experience is 44 out of 60. It's now snowfall, clear weather, tip chance increased by 20%. That 
goes on top of our extra wealthy patron bonus and tip amount up to 66% uh, salaries however for the waitresses are 66% increased as well but hopefully there'll be lots of tips being uh, being shared around for everybody involved so we can see that the yes the the terrain has changed we've got some snow on the ground on the trees as well yeah fair enough so we've got bread we've got well we've got bread we've got is it soup that is prepared there soups yes 160 to upgrade that I really want to do that, but I'm also very aware that I'm close to getting the bar upgrade. I'm, I could get another bar. Oh, there's our level up to level four. That's now going to task us with building a bedroom. But I'm not going to do that because I, so I want to upgrade the bar. And there we go. Sadly, when we upgrade that, we're not getting any visual flare changes. We're not getting like sort of, I was going to say like optics on the wall. I wouldn't expect optics in this setting, um, but you know, we're not getting like extra bottles and barrels and um, other things on here, like extra candles and such to indicate visually that this has been upgraded. But you know, again, demo. So we'll pick this stuff up. That's fine. And I see that stuff's been prepared here. I don't know if we need another waitress or not. I'm seeing someone there is a bit unhappy while they're, they're leaving there. But happiness is at 94%, so that's probably better than almost all real-life taverns or pubs. And money is also pretty good. I'm not going to upgrade the cauldron just yet. Oh, it's a thousand to upgrade the bar. Now, I'm not going to upgrade the cauldron just yet because we've got salaries to pay for. And we have to... Uh, Make sure we can pay our staff. You can go into debt, and I think you have a three or four day grace period of basically able to go. No, it's fine. I'll, I'll, I'll pay this. I'll pay this off. Um, but there's no real need to do that. Uh, oh, there's wealthy patrons again. We're gonna, we're gonna do that and go to the next day. And oh, well, three, mo three more generic units of currency, and we can increase the, uh, the cauldron, and two hundred for the oven. Okay, how much is it for the bedroom? Oh, it's 125. Okay, well, what am I going to do? Because this is the footprint that we have to build on. It's quite a big footprint. I don't like the idea of just putting it there. What I'm going to do is extend this way and then put in the bedroom there. Hang on, 125, 125, but I don't have... No, I, no, I don't have 125. I had 124 point something or other. And we'll put the door there. There we go. So we now have a bedroom. It's 175 for a bed, though. So <laughs> that's uh, uh, too rich for our blood at this stage. Let's get some more tips. Lots of tips on the bar and on other tables and such. And being left. Happiness is 96%. So, that's okay. I'm going to get a bed sooner rather than later. Could upgrade the cauldron, but I think we've spent money on the bedroom. We might as well get the bed. The issue that we have, though, is we don't have the staff. It requires a housekeeper. Oh, there's the bed. I'm going to rotate that. You can put it right in the middle or off to one side. Just going to put it in the middle, because why not? So now, someone may want to stay in the bed. Are they going to... No, maybe not. Maybe it was just a bit too late in me placing it in there. Although, one would think that the, the time when people are wanting rooms, <laughs> uh, when it's getting dark and, you know, they want to stay on premises. Who knows? But, level four. What else can we upgrade? Um, well, we can upgrade the two kitchen slots, but we have a level five turkey roaster that we're not yet unlocked. As I said, the bath and the cellar, not included in demo. I don't know how much customization is going to be included in the full version of the game, whether it be altering what you specialize in, whether it be beer, wine, spirits, um, whether you can go down more food stuff, whether it's a tech tree, all of that stuff. This is just a, like I say, a brief look at the, the demo there. Okay, so we're on to, I think, upgrade time. 
Or do I want to place another another chair in here? We could probably do that, but I think that would require another another waitress. Well, I'm going to hire another waitress, and there's also a new housekeeper. 120 for those. So mm, it seems a bit a bit strange to have just one. So yeah, maybe it is best on focusing on one particular thing. But anyway, yeah, as you can see, this place is pretty full. People are coming to visit our lovely tavern. Yeah. Okay, and I wonder if in the full version we're going to get options for decor, which may increase our reputation or happiness value, people's patience, etc. And oh, there's someone who is now in bed. There you go. So you now have someone who is having a bit of a sleep in the middle of the day. Upgrading our cauldron. And then I'll probably save up for housekeeping. Ah, uh, yeah, see that some of these people are unhappy because of the time that they are. Yeah, yeah, look at that. I've, uh, I've, I've went a bit too far. I'm going to delete that table, which also deletes people, apparently. Yeah, so... What's happened there is we've just overextended a little bit. All right, fair enough, fair enough. Um, we do need to hire housekeeping. There's the housekeeper. They're gonna then tend to that bed. Wages are 185 per day. I don't think we're gonna be able to afford wages. I really don't. Hmm. And what are people waiting on? Waiting to be drinks to be served. Waiting for drinks to be served. Waiting for dr food to be served. And eating food. I think we're okay now. I think that extra table, and because of the distance where it was, etc., that was proving to be a problem. And housekeeper is going to stand there staring at that. Yes, indeed. Hmm. Okay. Well, it looks like we will make the wages this day. And. There's wealthy patrons again. I'm gonna skip, actually. Oh, we've got some rainy season now. It's got some weather. Uh, gentle rains, raining for three days. Bed price increased by 50%. Oh, right. Well, that changes things. Ah, maybe it doesn't change things. I was gonna extend along and put another bedroom in, but that's gonna require, well, a lot more money. And well, frankly, we don't have that. Hmm. Okay. Well, we could... We couldn't even get another bar. All right. There's options for the turkey roaster. I think if we were to do that, however, I would probably put in another kitchen and get another cook, which means more expansion. But that's, as far as I can tell... Oh, there's also like lamb grills, fish grills, pig roaster. There's a cabinet there. Again, not in demo, but increases bed price by 50%. That's pretty good. It is pretty good. And the rest is not included. Things like fireplace, stage increases tip chance. All right. Okay, well, you know what? I'm going to leave it there for, uh, for this video because... Well, we're just waiting on... Oh, we're actually going to... We're going to get the next stage. You know what? We'll do that. We'll place the turkey roaster. And I think that is pretty much everything that you can place in the demo. And... Five points to unlock. Turkey roaster. Which I think... Probably increase our kitchen size. Probably put one of those down. And... Turkey roaster. We are just shy, sadly, of what is required. Okay. Well, at least you can like extend the rooms like I've done here, which is pretty good. It's uh, 155 for the salaries, but we're going to get the turkey roasted down and see what the animation of that is like. There we go. Ah, it's automatically spinning. <laughs> the almost like cliched asset of turkey. <laughs> oh, here we go. Seems to be like seasoning it or something. They're interacting with it anywhere. Oh, and then they get confused and then, oh, there's the turkey with some sort of gravy or sauce, whatever. 
let's go with New Year's Eve. Hmm. Anyway, I think we're gonna leave it there for now. Oh, let me pick up some of these tips as well. Yeah, I think we will leave it there for now. That's been a bit of in Tycoon. As demos go, it's fairly sedate. It doesn't really show a lot more than the basics. It's fairly chill. My question is, what does it do over things like Tavern Master or Traveler's Rest? Is it just focusing on being a lot more casual? But these sort of mechanics we've seen in previous games and then obviously expand upon from there. It is only a demo, however, so we're not gonna take it at anything other than face value at this stage. Let's see what happens in future releases and what is planned for, obviously, the, uh, the full game. Either way, that's been a brief look at In Tycoon. Hope you have enjoyed it, and if you have any tips, comments, suggestions for games like this or things you would like to see on the channel, then by all means, leave a comment in the comments. As always, hope you have enjoyed it. Thanks very much for watching. Take care, and generic partings.